uh, we're out, and that means that is it for this episode of NSFW. I love each and every one of you guys. Why don't you do me a favor? Take care of yourselves. Make sure you die in a fire. See you next Tuesday, kids. Wait. What? For the NSFW Finals Atlantic Minute, I'm Chip Dermot. Only one movie opening up this weekend, and it was Super 8. Justin Al Young was expecting me to do Super as it was his last movie to carry him through the summer. Although it powered him to the second position, it was only on $37 million. It's supposed to be his inception. I'm sure he's thrilled about it. I'm sure he wants to go up to the control room and unspool all the film and fucking hang himself with it. As it says now, Sarah leads with 371 million, Justin with 353 is in second, Brian 352 is in third, Jason at 210 is in fourth, and Tom pulls up the rear at a hundred million dollars. Well, 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 look who joined the party. Cargill brings a Green Lantern as his first movie digs about. For the NSFW Fantasy League Minute, I'm Jim Bitter Banga 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 Oh my god. Listen, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. We never know what we're in for with NSFW. Neither do you. That's why, like a monkey who gets random reinforcement with crack cocaine injected right into his brain, you keep coming back and hitting the NSFW button. Well, let me just say, tonight, you press the button, and you got a big old boatload of dopamine, receptin drugs shot right into your brain hole, and we owe it all to Netflix and Squarespace. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Absolutely. Go support them. Is Julia still on? She's out. like, she's right, like screw she these dudes. Holy bags. crap. No, she was, let me tell you, man, it's like, um, I fell in, I fell in love with her music, man. It was amazing. It's like, I, I felt something in this crusty old heart <laughs> in, in a show where minutes before you used the gumshoe voice to cheat and win a trick <laughs> to win the game. Uh, all of a sudden this chick comes in and plays the ukulele and just melts my soul. It was amazing, dude. Uh, no, she was so, 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 so good. Andrew, thank you so much for coming on, man. You absolutely killed it. Uh, it was, it was a very, very, very fun, fun show. By the way, people are pointing out that you did so use much fun with first. you guys. You escalated this. Well, no, well, because I was campaigning, I was, I was in treating myself to, I was, look, I knew as far as I, sorry, last time I checked, it was you guys that were the judges, not the chat room. So I wasn't using the Southern voice to entreat myself to you guys. Cause that wasn't going to get me anywhere. Plus, also, I didn't know how long I, um, hmm. Well, you uh, did stab me. We, for, you know, I had yes, to say you it wasn't good. You did stab me. Uh, by the way, we will award, uh, uh, I have all the actual names or the names of people who sent stuff in. So uh, it won't be revealed publicly, but we will contact two winners, one secret, one BS, to win a Tijuana Jackson Science of Triumph t-shirt. Um, and we're gonna keep that one, DC inside the DC baby. On That's the not public knowledge, you heard about it being on the DL? DC. You got a chance it's to being win. on the DC is what it's like. That's what I'm saying, uh, dude. This was a completely amazing fun time. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna believe who just showed up. Hold on, you sell that bit, man. You sit down in that chair, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ninjon the Creeper. <laughs> <laughs> He totally snaked up on that business. Hold on, put this put this in your hand and talk into it. Uh, hey man, what's going on, bro? This isn't. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> are you eating your shirt? Yeah. Uh, well, it's not a shirt. It's a ninja outfit. It's a ninja. Because Authentic. You're a ninja. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, you're a ninja, of course. Yes. But actually, this is not the same John that delivered the notebook before. Uh, totally different John. This is a no, totally. I, different I killed that guy because I thought you could use a new assistant that could get into the room. <laughs> Not kill your internet. And uh, so I'm here. 
<laughs> Ready to offer my assistance? By the way, like if tonight, if there was, <laughs> if there was ever an episode that would just shown a bright bat signal onto my own personal failings, it was this one. Because it's like first the internet goes out, which there's no way you could have caused. But I walk out, I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> and then, and then, I'm just, you know, you clearly you're like, well, I'm stuck outside. You've locked the door, douchebag. And so I'm gonna send you a message. And I'm like, what are you doing, sending me a message instead well, of kicking in the door? Well, uh. So, for you know, the poor other John, in his defense, when uh, you, <laughs> when you uh, <laughs> by the end, when, no, no, when when the new boss for whom you've moved across the country to work for starts publicly berating and humiliating you on the street. <laughs> well, uh, so when other John sent you that text message, you waited a full like five minutes. You you actually didn't respond to it at all and saved it for your own. Uh, comedic benefit. Well, actually, I, 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 I didn't know it was there. So uh, you by the way, I, I like to uh, just a uh, uh, point. A uh, rabbit badger uh, asks if if John and I prefer this to be the nomenclature that you referred to John as uh, your latest cute young boy servant. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I say, and I will not back that up. Although I. I I'm very flattered. Aims to find all of my assistants visually appealing. We do aim to serve. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But exactly. uh, do you weed them out like Hooters? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a big part of the uh, the process. <laughs> I said, I said, put this put this ninja outfit on. And now, exactly. That, that was actually uh, at uh, oh, I can't pronounce his Twitter name. T H Low. Whoa! Whoa! Flow. Oh, oh there he, well, he sent me a he sent me a how to dress up like a ninja guide and said, you know, you should do this. Oh my God, is that really so, where this came from? Th yeah, yeah, sent that over yeah. To you? And I was like, you know, that's that's kind of a good idea, dude. So that's br that. brilliant. Yeah. And first of all, you definitely have established your name as Ninja well, from now on. Dude. Well, that was the thing. Uh, I, I was like, if there's there's one way to like eliminate Creeper John, it's it's <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's to show up there. dressed as a GD yeah, Ninja. Yeah, yeah. That's for exactly. sure. That's well, for at sure. least you can move the creeper part to the end of it. Because now it's Ninja and the creeper. As but, a but, but like, if you're a ninja, you could, you <laughs> know what? You could add, it's like each one, each term could get more offensive the farther down the line it is. You don't care. It's like <laughs> Ninja, the murderer, the killer, the racist, the. Um, I honestly. Uh, feel uh, like uh, Brian, can you confirm or deny? Chimera in the chat room uh, has a, apparently published your entire um, the list of questions that you have for an interview for a new assistant. Question one, do you have the ass of a 10-year-old boy? End of interview. <laughs> that was the first question on the phone, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I did. I said that. I was, I was like, so you hot? You want to text me a pic? And then, uh, and then I was like, do I have the right number? <laughs> and you're like, you're like, you're like, Congressman Wiener, what? Yeah. Uh, by the way, hey, can everybody, like, I know that she's already got 200% funded, and I'm not going to ask everybody to go chip it, but if you like, uh, Julia Noons on the show tonight. Please do me a favor on Twitter, on Kickstarter. Show her some some DC chat realm love tonight. Let her know that we really, really, really loved her on the show uh, because uh, I'll tell. I thought she. Are we on Twitter? No, yeah, we're still on Twitter. And I'll, and I'll tell you what you mean to say. You thought she made you see what's beautiful about the world. You yeah. understood the beauty, the transient nature of life and death. You understand that we only have a few minutes in the sunshine, and during this time we should live, damn it. And during this time we should love each other because ukulele music and a beautiful voice can make your life special. That's what you meant, right? Yes. Julia Noon's rules. Go let her know because I want, and me and Brian have talked about this, we want to be the Ed Sullivan of awesome YouTube music acts. The more I get into it, and here's my favorite part about the Summer Music Series, isn't doing it. It's discovering people that everybody else in the world has been in love with that I had never heard. Like, I had never heard of Julia Noons until we started doing the Summer Music Series. Someone requested her before. Um, and it's just, it's, it's amazing finding these people. I've been listening to Jonathan Mann and his Song of Day stuff every single day since he's been on the show. And I could not be happier, man. you got to follow these people. They're doing great work. Just really exceptional work for free. Like, we are, we are living in a medieval town square where the, great, the greatest musical minds of a generation are performing for nothing 
uh, that is available across the world. Plus, let, so let, let me let me also kind of back this up and talk about in the whole uh, old media versus new media war. Uh, this is our opportunity. This is our step in an effort to legitimize new media in a way that most people, like my grandmother, will never understand. Uh, well, they're both dead. Um, my my uh, I don't uh, my parents. They kind of get the new media thing, but I think they would get it more and get it easier if they understood the format that we were doing, where all of a sudden we had a musical guest and these kind of things. Um, this is uh, this is the kind of thing that I think could really resonate and not only bring a lot of publicity for these musical artists, but by borrowing the trappings of new media before or of old media before us back in the 1950s, because this is the <laughs> Wild West of media um, – I, I think we have a, a, a real opportunity to grow not only the network and the platform, but also bring a lot of exposure to some really talented people out there. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Tenzer guy says, are you guys going to have Pablo Moose on? Uh, absolutely. Holy cow. You know, would, would I ever love we that? we have guy, people like Julia Nunes, like Andrew Rose Gregory, uh, like Jonathan Mann, uh, more that we have those kinds of guys that are legit music cred, uh, awesomeness, the, the better that we're going to have a chance of booking guys like Pablo Moose or, or the Carmen chick that uh, is blowing up right now. I'd love to have all of them on. Believe you me. So, Brentel Floss. People keep saying Brentel Floss. Absolutely. Of course. Look, what do we have Rebecca Black on? Are you kidding? Of course. Here's the thing, party people, is that you guys are our booking agents. Uh, Justin and I, unfortunately, we got 18 million things driving us a different ways this is the three hours a week that we live for is to engage with you guys and be we, when we synchronize up with a hive mind and we become one with the internet is the greatest moment of our entire lives and so you guys feel free to reach out to these people and see bring us these opportunities like get them on the show we want to make that happen right justin uh yeah and by the way you want to know a great way to get them on is if they have a kickstarter Hit them up on the Kickstarter. Yeah, it turns out Say, that... Hey, you want to know a great place to raise some money? Uh, and it's a W show. We like the fun stuff. And they love having musical guests because they book one every week. Please, uh, I have been authorized by Justin, Robert Young, and Brian Brushwood personally to ask you to be on the show. You yes. can use that for any guest. In fact, the actually... Thing. I mean, you guys are right. When the audience sends them an email and says, hey, listen, why don't you do the show? It means a whole lot more than, you know, you sending an email. Yes, because people yeah. are actually watching. Absolutely, absolutely. And I gotta, I gotta tell you, like it really gratifies me to see over in the uh, on my tweet stream right now. I'm seeing a bunch of very spontaneous emails that people are I, emails tweets where people are saying they just they love discovering these artists. People really seem to be digging the summer music series. And I've said this before. Let me say it publicly: summer music series is entirely Justin's idea. I think uh, it was brilliant from the get go. And uh, I love what's happening so far, and I want to keep on doing it forever, forever, forever. It'll eventually just be the music series, TMS, the morning Maybe. series. Maybe. I don't right. know. We'll see. Man, we're going to have to wait till the end of the summer, see if, we, see if it gets an extension from the man upstairs. Some people are shouting, uh, make a permanent part of the show. I'd be down for that. A lot of the people want says, Can we get the tra la la la, -la guy? That, well, that would be great booking. la 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 well, I know, apparently also there's a lot of call for that new hit, Tummy Sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm going to keep cutting over to John for no reason. <laughs> so, uh, oh, oh, also, by the way, everybody sign up on the YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash NSRW Music Series. All, this, all, the, um, all of the uh, uh, performances are posted there. And uh, by the way, we're going to get uh, original recordings from the sources, at least when available, we will. Uh, Julia recorded... Uh, one for us, and we'll be uh, delighted to get it so we can get it on uh, not only the podcast, but also cut out on the summer music series. So please, guys, go subscribe to our channel, man. Somebody, somebody created a Squarespace page called brainsucksatgames.squarespace.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. Just for the record. Brain. You do suck, though, Brain. <laughs> okay, I suck on every game. Uh, I certainly suck at, Matt, at secrets or BS, but... Brain not, Brushwood. Not every game. Not every game. I got something. Hey, um, we moved real fast, and I don't even think we got your URL at the end to point people. It's GFQ Network. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah, GFQNetwork.com. 
Uh, you can download the podcast. You can subscribe, all, all that stuff. And then you can watch live when we're on live. We have a schedule on uh, gfqlive.tv. And then uh, I'm on the Twitters at GFQ Network. And then the Facebooks, too. Dude, uh, Andrew, you were amazing. And seriously, uh, people can go to uh, – I'm sure in the Justin archives is our discussion about playing around with Vid Blaster and all the different things that you can you know what? do. I could put it up if you want. That was a cool thing. I could put it up on the website. I mean, if, if you want to throw it up there, then people can come check it out. I spent like two hours hanging out with Andrew. We were talking about the different capabilities of our rigs and how we came to, to grow them. That's one of the things I really dig about new media is that you're able to kind of pull back the curtain and reveal not only where you are, but how you got there, you know? Yeah. No, that that's the amazing thing. I mean, and then, you know, we spoke yesterday, but we've built this from the ground up and you did the same thing. And, you know, it's humbling to see at times where you've gotten from just one stupid microphone and a, and a, and a horrible laptop. Yes, exactly. So it, 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 it is extremely humbling, but I, I really appreciate all the help from me. So, Hold on, and we should be back here shortly. Um, I don't know why, but let me call everybody. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, it says connection re reset by peer, which I suspect means that some device is stealing the IP. Isn't that what that means when it says connection reset by peer? Oh, you know, I with the stroke fest, it just goes out. What when you do what? <laughs> it was a stroke fest. Oh yeah, the uh, uh, hey. So when when it when when it says connection reset by peer, does that mean that that like another device is stealing your IP address or something, or am I just Skype? What's that? What was it on Skype? On everything. It was on Windows. Like like uh, the the chat room said it. The all three Skypes died. Everything died all at once. What does it mean when it says connection reset by peer? I don't know. Why don't you call somebody on Twitter or something? That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying we're on Twitter. And let me ask the same people that make uh, Leo Laporte look so good live on the air. And uh, these guys are going to hey, know. I'm what, not getting video from you. Yeah, I'm right. sending it to you right about now. <laughs> Timed out. Google it. Colleen. All your bases belong to them. <laughs> Lost connection. These are all incredibly helpful. Thank you, guys. Apparently, I'm looking in the wrong chat room. I'm going to switch over to Twit Live and see what I they say. I call Steve Gibson for this. I, I'm going to say, let, let, me, let me extend, you know, Twit Live. I know you guys right now in the chat room are watching. Please tell me, what does it mean when your, problem, when your computer, everything's fine, and it explodes and just says connection reset by peer? What do you think that means? Anyway. Did you do that last time, too? It's a generic disconnect, they said. It means your connection to the server was closed. Packet laws can cause this. Your Brian, go to hell is what Burke says. <laughs> Burke! A2, Burke? Really? Come on, man. Really? I can eat hamsters is what I can do. Um, man, I, I have, well, that's a, really, that's a real bummer. But your connection to me was not good. Entire show. I had yellow in the, uh, the Skype bar. Yeah, you know what's weird is you were fuzzy for me, but everything else was totally solid. Justin looked good, and uh, uh, Ninjon looks fantastic. Yeah, Ninjon here in studio. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need to do. You need to practice more ninja moves. <clears throat> you need to practice your ninja moves. We'll get that worked out. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it's weird how, like, you could be connected, and then, like, uh, you know, one connection is good, the other connection not so much. Beauty of me. Uh, All right. Hey, uh, okay, let's, uh, what are we going to call this episode, gentlemen? Uh, Royale of streaming. 
Royal with stream. Royal stream. That was a great joke, though. I don't know if we want him. But they won't know why. Yeah, it was hidden amongst other similar. You got to talk into the microphone. Uh, I know. I just want to tell you. Oh, you're telling me. That's gotcha. All right. Gotcha. As a, as a ninja, yes. ninja secret. Nobody can know. Nobody can know. Whatever. I really like, oh, man, I streamed Netflix on Marvin's face, but I don't know if we made that joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, I cannot remember the last time I got so swept up in. Uh, like an ad read moment. Like there was some moment, like I'm just really, really glad that it turned out to be related to our sponsor that we went on that riff because it was legitimately hilarious. Well, I was watching it last night and I remember thinking like, we should just do a bunch of references to nap to Pulp Fiction because it's on there. Wait, and so, me you, and Brian... so you thought that? And then like, yeah. Does, does that mean like you were trying to craft this moment or did I just randomly pick up on a vibe? No, I mean, I was running in that direction, and you made it more than I could have ever dreamed. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I didn't know I didn't know whether you were going to play along with it or whether you're going to be like, Justin, that was just, that's a line from Pulp Fiction. You, oh, we're trying to talk about Netflix. It's like, either way that we would have done it, it would have been funny. I, I didn't know exactly how it was going to work out. All I knew was that I was just going to keep plowing ahead, making references to Pulp Fiction. Uh, dude, no, it got really good. It really, I, and I loved, I love your use of the gumshoe voice to cheat at the end. That was really awesome. I was laughing so much, I had a headache. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Pulp Flixton. <laughs> I like. Mm, Lori Holt. Fiction. No, that'll get us in trouble. Um, and NSFW80, this is why we can't have night, nice thing. Full frontal anonymity. That was pretty good. Full frontal anonymity. Yeah. As I spoke those words, I thought show title. Let's do let's do full frontal anonymity. Although um Royale with stream is pretty good. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that it's, it doesn't ruin anything to call it Royal with Stream. Somebody wrote Stroke Fest. Um. Yeah, you tell me Royal with Stream. Uh, real quick, Justin, pick, go. I like Full Frontal Anonymity. I like that one. Ninja. I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> I was. Uh, I like. Uh, I like the. I like both equally. They're fine. Andrew? Sorry, no help. Uh, well, since I was the one that said Royale, which stream, I'm kind of biased towards that. But I like I like both. Um, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave it to you because I'm with you. I could go either way. Chat room and go. Flash dance. Wait, wait. Bonnie will be the tiebreaker. Bonnie, is it gonna be called Royale with stream or full frontal anonymity? She loves full frontal an anonymity. Okay. Done and done. That's what we'll call it. All right. I, I thought it you thought it was gonna be cats with bow ties? No, 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 no. Okay, all right, here we go. <clears throat> the Trader Joe's defense is what the rook says. That was pretty. Uh, okay. Full. <clears throat> episode eighty for June fourteenth. All right. This is NSFW episode eighty for June fourteenth, twenty eleven. Full frontal anonymity. This is NSFW episode. Eight. Go ahead, Justin. Oh, hold on. Wait a no, minute. No, don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. We no, you don't, have, you don't have hold to. On. Wait a minute. You don't someone, have to. You don't have to. Someone just sent this in to me. You don't. Double complete rainbow. This is NSFW episode eighty for June fourteenth, twenty eleven. Full frontal anonymity. Justin. Today on NSFW, Andrew Zarian of the Guys from Queens Network joins us. We play Secrets or BS. We defend the oft maligned states of Florida, Texas, and New York, respectively, and the impossibly talented and beautiful Julia Noon sings for us. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW. Clap, 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 snap. Uh, you want the reeds here? Billbirds? Yeah, hold on, look what 
Look what Burke Same just said, said me. How many, how many 14 year old boys are going to be disappointed when they Google NSFW full frontal? Yeah. You expose the bacon. I eat it. Curse you, Burke. Uh, Let's bring it. In. All right. Bring it. Yep. All right. Give us, uh, give us some, uh, you know, them legit things that make us money. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Squarespace.com. The fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free 14-day trial, go to squarespace.com slash NSFW and be sure to check out their annual plans for savings of up to 20% off. Actually, Frederick didn't send the Netflix one, so let me... And by Pulp Fiction, a fantastic movie that you can watch on Netflix and it's streaming right now, in which case a bunch of gangsters get caught doing a bunch of gangster stuff at Bonnie's place, and people don't recognize how delicate the Bonnie situation is. And by the way, does it look like there's unlimited streaming stores in this garage? <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite one, Brian. <laughs> you killed me with that. Uh, and Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed to your PC, Mac, or TV instantly. Plus, get DVDs by mail in about one business day. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. Right on. Hey, big major Uber shout-outs to your friend of mine, one Jammer B. Rocking it in the studio, hanging out with late with us. Um... <laughs> that they, we, we do. Can we come back to photos of actual? <laughs> there he is, right there. No. Jammer B, rocking it in studio. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Jammer B. And in honor of Jammer B, as you guys know, we're trying to sell a few bricks here at the Twit Cottage. And we know a lot of people don't have the $120 and change to sell a brick. Uh, so we here at NSFW want to do our part for all of you guys. We know that we do a lot of risque, bizarre uh, stuff here on the show. And we want to prove that we are among the lowest, most loyal of the Twit followers. So if you guys want to hit me up, brian at schwood.com. If you want to PayPal over a few bucks to be put towards a brick. As you know, all summer long, we're planning to buy a brick and name it after each and every episode. It's not a lot. That's what, uh, based on the number of people that we have right now, is 50 cents a piece. If everyone sent in one buck, we'd have this thing locked away. Just make sure to put for a brick. Give us a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. If you get, if we overbuy, then that means we get one of those sweet, sweet eight by eight graphic bricks. And in fact, we're going to have a special event where all you guys are going to come in. We're going to decide what we're going to spend our brick money on. This is a team effort with you, me, and all of our shared 50-cent pieces that are going to live forever as physical bricks. The first thing people walk in, think about it, guys. We can turn, people will walk in, investors will walk in, and they'll turn, and they'll see this brick wall of investors. We can be the one brick where every multimillionaire looks and says, what is that about? And then in that brief moment of confusion will be brought to you by the NSFW show. So we do need to lock these bricks up soon. I do agree. we got to get up in there. Some people say the NSFW logo. Look, we're all going to do that. We're going to figure it out. But for right now, what we really need is you guys just to chip in. A buck? This show is worth a, worth a buck. Hell, man. The sponsor read alone was worth a buck. whole show is worth like two fifty. And Can so I get a break that says Brian Brushwood stabbed me? You guys yeah, that. buddy. Dude. You I'm, know what? You know, maybe I should do it right now. How, where do I go? Uh, what is the, what's the URL? Well, if you want to buy the whole brick, then you go to bricks.twit.tv, right? Bricks.twit.tv, and then you buy yourself a full-on brick. You can get yourself a regular-sized brick for about 120 bucks. You can get him uh, – oh, hold on. TH Lowe's bringing up the T.O. and Jackson shirt again. What's the story with that? What do we need to do as far as giving that away? Oh, well, uh, apparently t 2 t 2 says he had – uh, the contact information for the people that put it out there. Otherwise, we can just, I'll put it up on Twitter, you know, uh, you know, hey, did you do the blank story? And if you did, email Justin R. Young and we'll figure it out. Uh, ODB says all the stories suck, no winners. Listen, I promised that we give out one for one secret, one for one BS. You know what? I, so, I think we clearly have a winner. It's the one that you full on Yes, Crap that the one, game that one over because you thought it was so obviously real and it turned out to be fake, right? Yeah. That was no, brilliant. No. That guy definitely got a T-shirt. Mr. Avatar, fake bird swimmer, that just earned you a shirt. There we go. Uh, okay. Apparently there was no thing. So, all right, let's pick them. What was the other one? What's a good true one? 
Because that was bull, right? Yeah, but does it have to be the best true story? I, I said we give out one one truth, one good true one, and one good BS well, the best one. one the, the one that was true, that was good, was the guy who, wait, that would turn out to be a lie. Was the No, no, no. What was the one where the guy took the LSD and crashed the van? That guy should get one, if it's true. That was bullsh. Dang it. I'm in the process of buying the brook. Are you really? That's awesome. Dude. I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> I'm trying to fit Brian Brushwood, but that won't work. So Andrew, might... <laughs> you're going to put Brian Brushwood stabbed me in my heart. <laughs> Andrew Darian. I'm putting Brian NSFW. <laughs> stabbed Andrew Zarian. Yeah. <laughs> that is the best I, thing ever. The chat room seriously loves that, dude. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Joe DeMax oh, wants to see the rest of it. Um, you guys tell me. Let me see here. I got I to gotta take some lettering out. <laughs> you know what? We're actually settling it on Reddit. You go to reddit.com slash diamond club and then slash comments something, 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 something. You'll see this right here. Here's all the different stories. And you guys can Reddit it up. I like this. Let's settle it on Reddit. Let's settle a Reddit in it. I'm down for that. See, I just want one that was a secret. What was a good secret? Because a lot of it was just like, hey, I had a fun time this one time. That's well, not mean, like a secret. Some of these look good. I see the word gay sex. See? Beware the half man. These look good. Go to the Reddit and decide it. See, we should have done, Chat Room should have done the Reddit and stuff before they put them in the dock thing. What are you talking about? Are you, why are you so bitter over this business? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just saying for future reference. Just so like the one thing that I felt was that like, I felt like we didn't have the strongest stories up front. Cause like, I'm just even looking through the ones that you circled through. And like, there's some really, really, really cool stories. Um, so I think maybe next time so that dudes like Jerry hates us. no, I just chat realm is a very, very complicated thing to wrangle. I know because I've tried to wrangle chat realm and it's, it's hard to do. It's just, it's a million disparate pieces of brilliance that you have to bring into one very, 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 very tiny postage stamp. And that's not easy. All right. Look, uh, I'd like to propose to you that we have a new thing we call NSFW Christmas in July. And it should look like this. <laughs> That's just something I threw together just now while we were busy talking. Wow. I sort of would that mean that uh, we'd have to have Santa back on? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking we'd have to reenact another play and that we'd have to have Santa on. Maybe somewhere around our, oh, it'll be close to our 100th episode, but it won't be exactly. Maybe we could have, maybe we could have Santa on. That would be a pretty funny thing. I think that's thing. what I think. We had Christmas that's... in July. I'm saying Christmas in July will give the big... Yeah, I call out again. No, I better not because I'm there talking to you. But you No, you were you were frozen for a second. Okay. Uh yeah, so it's like we could have him on and he'll be there in his tankini and his awesome beard, and we can we could talk about <laughs> him on, over his Skype machine. <laughs> Santa suggests you kill the beard. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you saw this, but Santa hasn't had much luck himself lately. <laughs> I'm having difficulty with this Skype machine that I made in my workshop. <laughs> Maybe you should hit the camera button, Santa. Santa can Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, the episode is uh, the 100th show. We'd love to have Leo back on for the 100th show. Oh, no, no, yeah, We definitely, we definitely have to have Leo on for the 100th episode. That'll be what? Three months from now, four months from now. That'll be perfect. We'll definitely do that. Uh, you know what's been a while since we played is, um, uh, what's the one where we, uh, oh, but Cuba is what we call it, but I forget the real name. 
No, we played that recently. Lost in translation. No, we it's been, with, it's with been Merit like, for the NACA thing. That was two months ago. Okay. That's so the, the the break I'm buying says Schwood stabbed Andrew Zarian. <laughs> yeah. I'm checking out now. I'm getting my wallet. Andrew Zarian is the greatest person who ever lived, dude. That is amazing. That is amazing, dude. I'm sorry. I'm being I'm being corrected here. NACA was late February, and it's now June. So that was four months ago. I'd rather play Blitz Queens. The credit card is out. I'm putting in the info. That's awesome. So that was, where's this going? To, it's going in the uh, in the actual <laughs> in the new studio. That's a, no, no, no. Yeah, in fact, when you walk in to the new Twit Studio, there will be to the, the the first thing you'll see is all these bricks with the inscriptions on there. We've had people propose that we put QR codes, logos for NSFW, all this different stuff, and we're going to decide how to do it. But remember, remember, if if you have the money for a brick, buy a brick. If you can do it, then brick it up and do, you know. You know, get your message out there. But you got five bucks, you got ten bucks, and you're like, man, I'd buy a break, but I don't have enough money. We're making a giant pool for the NSFW gang. We're gonna buy a bunch of bricks. We're gonna do our part to uh, to blow up the brick twit house, which sounded like I just made a terrorist threat. John, all right, Justin, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Aaron in the chat room says this. this is weird. Uh, Brian Brushwood, jury. Last Thursday night, I talked twists this week in science into putting the smack down on you guys for the bricks. It's on. You should promote the contest for the most bricks against twists. Hopefully, this helps both more bricks. Jammer B was there. Witness and judge the smackdown. Jammer B. Also, some vote with twists. They're behind. Uh, look, first of all, all we, right. we love. I want to say this. And I'm I'm dead goddamn serious that I know that Dr. Kiki just had a baby, but if she thinks for one second that she can shoot her mouth off and Bryant won't haul off and punch her right in the nose, <laughs> then she is mistaken. Uh, for, for, for the record, I will, I will make a recently pregnant woman in the face so quick. Her head will spin. Uh, actually, I te technically, what I'll do is I will I will get my paid ninja to hit her. Uh, but but regardless, it's still the same. The point is, the point is, now I know I know there's video out there on the internet of Dr. Kiki slaying ninjas who dare to cross her. But not this job. ninja. Not this ninja. She ain't faced my ninja. That's all I'm gonna say. And that is a secret. That ain't BS. That's for damn sure. Uh, uh <laughs> I forgot to use that new stinger throughout the NSFW. I totally forgot to do that. I apologize. You had that. What? Where'd you get that? Oh uh, well, the photo you had seen before, right? I'm. Sure, I mean, I. There's so many silly photos. Yeah. Well, there were this one. This one made it out, and and somebody resent it during one of the recent live streams. I was like, guys, I gotta have something that I could do that I could play like problem solved or. Like those, only it needs to be. And there it was. Calm it down, folks. Let's take it easy, guys. Bring it down a notch. <laughs> Dr. Kiki say, Ninja, please. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'll tell you what, hey, way to, way to on, like, his first uh, official live show just completely compared John to Chad, by the way. Okay, well, first of all, I was going to do this after the show, but let me just say, John, you have done an exceptional job, and I apologize for going for the cheap laugh for an audience that I knew was familiar with OMG Chad and deep in their black hearts was already judging you against them. Going for the cheap bonus points of saying Chad would have dot dot dot. I've already I've already killed all those people. <laughs> so, that's that's not an issue anymore, Brian. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I think Chad himself would be disappointed in you, Brian, if uh, he wasn't already dead. Dude, this is great. Schwood stabbed Andrew Zarian. He prints I, I, he prints out the invoice to bring that out. That is effing amazing. Right here. 
So has it been a live buy on the air for the bricks yet? Uh, yeah, oh, you, oh, I'm sure. Uh, no, no, you are the first person on all of NSFW to to buy a brick live on the air, a whole brick right on the air. A whole brick. Yeah, and, dude. And this is this is my my uh, my memory of of uh, NSFW and Twit. This is what I'll be remembered by. Schwartz stabbed Andrew Zarin. <laughs> this is my legacy. <laughs> That is awesome. Just the think about it, man. We'll, we'll talk about that the guy. That will be there forever. That guy was doing a podcast. Yeah, that guy, he got stabbed by Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it was recorded forever. That is yeah. awesome, dude. Andrew Zarian, you, sir, are full of eight varieties of win. And I apologize, Ninjon. I'm going to move you down to Badoop. Well, the, the problem is I keep trying to sneak in oxygen. And then I'm worried about you cutting over to me and looking like this. That's, that's it. <laughs> so, uh. But I swear, every time I start to breathe, you just click it so I can suffocate more. Well, because you know what it is, is from where I'm sitting out of the corner of my eye, I see something that looks like... Oh, it looks like I'm going to say something. Yeah, right? Because oh. you look like... You're, 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 you're like... And I'm like, oh, man, somebody's drawing up. What's he got to say? <laughs> and, and, he, and he just goes... He just goes <gasps> I, I can't breathe. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say if I make that movement. Uh, Petey Rave goes. says, make Andrew a regular on the show. Uh, yeah, look, you're definitely a made man, Andrew. You're... Freaking, you're rocking it. It's awesome. you want to come I on, buddy. Everything. My next appearance is going to be horrible. I just used every ammo I had. <laughs> I unloaded. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I, had a, I had an awesome time. I absolutely loved being here. No, you were, you were fantastic. Uh, let, me, let me peek in real quick. I'm actually going to move this over here. I'm going to take a look and see if we got... As you guys know, I'm loath to quit the... Um, the show until I know that we've bought at least one brick. And it doesn't take a lot. If everyone just chips in. Oh, we in did. Andrew bought it. Well, oh, oh, no, that's right. Yeah, we totally have. Andrew yeah. at least bought a brick for this episode. Um, I, I do like to uh, – uh, somebody just compared him to another guest. So I'm glad that he did better, but I want to mention the other guest. Can we all stop with that, by the way? That was not a <laughs> – watch that show and tell me it's not a funny show. It's it was a, really a funny, funny, funny show. show. It was a funny show. Who was this person? Um. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh. I'm glad I I'm glad I did better than the man you can't even name. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, well, uh first of all, we loved him and we think most of the at home audience loved him, but I think that chat realm felt very unlistened to during that episode and so they have gripes. I'm going to go back and I I will do a live uh uh of of director's commentary. On that episode one night on Justin TV. We totally and should. I will decide, finally, whether that was a good episode or not. You know what? Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do a night attack, and you and me, we'll be, it'll be yeah. director's commentary. We'll just play the episode, and we'll talk about it. I like that. Uh, by the way, uh, dude, uh, we, we, that's it. We got we got an episode from Andrew. The the donors have already kicked in enough for another uh, another. Brick, I said we got an episode from Andrew. Thanks for donating your content for You're our welcome. time. You're welcome. It's 12 o'clock in the morning here in New York. Congratulations, sir. I am, I am, it, is when, it is officially Wednesday. I've been broadcasting for two days straight. Uh, wow, that's a little disturbing. Um, yeah. Okay, real quick. Where can people follow you? What's your Twitter? Uh, my personal is uh, Andrew Zarian on Twitter, but uh, you can also follow GFK Network. I, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to do my own Twitter now. I've, I've been doing a lot for the GFK Network, but now I'm doing my own personal stuff. Right. And, uh, you could follow me, you know, Facebook is always open, Andrew Zarian on Facebook, and uh, the website is GFQ Network, and uh, guys from Queens, and GFQ Live. Hey, so there's all that stuff, dude. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome job. Dude, thank uh, you so much for having me, man. I had an awesome time, and, and honestly, the Twitter audience is, is one of the most unbelievable groups of people ever. Absolutely. We had a uh, fantastic time with you. We're going to take things over to the After Show feed, um, and uh, I guess that's it. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the other feed. For those of you guys who don't know, we do a little after party, and uh, some people like to think of it as, as a private affair. It is a private affair. You have to know the secret password, and the secret password is, Justin? Go eat a bag of llama poop <laughs> dot squarespace dot com, <laughs> which, of course, redirects to Justin TV slash Scam School Brian. Oh, I wrote Scam School dot com. <laughs> Brian, there you go. Go eat a bag of llama poop is uh, is dot squarespace dot com. I swear we will ban and kick anyone who tries to show up at Justin dot TV slash scam school Brian who does not as their first words when you walk in say go eat a bag of llama poop 
dot squarespace dot com. <laughs> or you just said you just walk in and you go, I just ate it, and then everybody in the chat room goes, Llama poop. <laughs> <laughs> this is like this is like the old uh, Disney Adventurers Club where we have our own like congaloosh oh, yeah. thing, you know, that we're doing where everybody's on the inside. Absolutely. <laughs> so that means our long. new our new phrase is E A B L P. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that didn't exactly uh, slide off the tongue like D I A F or E A B D. No, that's all right. Okay, look, we're gonna wrap things up. Thank you a million times over, Jammer B. Thank you to everybody who donated for bricks. Thank you, Andrew Zarian, not only for buying a brick, insulting me personally, but also for hanging out with us on the show, dude. You are absolutely incredible. I, I love being here. I, I really appreciate it. And it, uh, it was a lot of fun. And All now right. my wife's going to go yell at me because it's 12 12. I know, I know. Get out of here. We never loved you anyway. Uh, take care, man. Thanks for stabbing me. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, so long, Jammer B. I guess we're going into reruns now. Have wheels and some of them. I don't. just didn't get the. I, I like the wheels. I wish I'd gotten because, the wheels. Because, quite frankly, he's totally back. showing. And look at all weather cover. Oh, this is like what the pros use. Hideaway tripod mount system. That's nice. So you can carry your tripod there. And this has enough for uh, a couple of bodies and three or four lenses. I mean, it's big. And of yeah, course, all your gear. It's got. I was able to carry everything uh, in this. Where one. did you take this bag? Tasmania. Oh, this is your Tasmania bag. I had two bags. I had this bag because Low Pro gave us bags. Remember? Yes. Yes. I had a. I had this bag and I had um, the the zip one that you know goes, whoop, and then you open. Oh, it up. those are cool. I love that. Yeah, that really one's neat. Them. The Low easy the easy access bag. They're like sling. They're they're a sling. Yeah. So it zips around. Wait, Leo, I forget. Oh, that's preview. That's live. Got it. That's what's live. The two of us are live, and the single is preview. Got it. And this is your single. You can. Oh well, Ooh, that's wow. not your single. Oh my goodness! I have to fix it though because it's squeezed. It was weird. Something. Oh, happened. Leo, look! I look so smart. <laughs> Yale. You want to yell? Yale. She's got the Yale mug. It's also ginormous. Yeah. That looks good. Do you like that oh, shot? Oh, that's good. You mean a bit?